For many of us, beer is more than a beverage. It's an experience. But that experience has to be perceived using the five senses we all learned in grade school. Today, we'll be looking at the science behind the sights, sounds, touches, smells, and tastes of beer. Hello, beer nerds. Welcome to Beer by the Numbers, the show where we examine the facts and figures surrounding the most liberal libation in the world, beer. In this episode, we'll examine how we experience this glorious beverage through our five senses. Let's get started. Ah, have you ever seen a more beautiful sight? This beautiful bit of beer porn is usually the first sense we get, sight. It's simply light reflecting off the environment around us and striking our retinas, which excite molecules that send signals for our brain to interpret. Fortunately, beer is a striking beverage. We notice color, clarity, foam thickness, carbonation, and the lacing it leaves on the glass. Just the sight of beer can bring out a range of psychological impressions, memories, and even cause physical reactions. For example, my mouth is already watering. However, it's amazing how much the look of a beer can bias a drinker. In one study, a panel of researchers added caramel and brown food coloring to Budweiser and asked what flavors unsuspecting drinkers detected. The panels of drinkers found caramel malty flavors in the caramel colored batch and found chocolate or coffee flavors in the very dark batch. Just as you can't judge a book by its cover, you certainly can't judge a beer by its color. We hear things via pressure waves transferred through the air, and although sound gives us a clue as to things like how carbonated a beer is, hearing does not play a big part in experiencing beer. But listen to this. Oh, doesn't that just get you going? You see, the thing about sound is that it can elicit some strong emotional ties and leave us salivating like Pavlov's dogs. So don't underestimate the crack of a can or gurgle of a pour. Our sense of touch is due to a network of billions of nerves in our skin that respond to changes in temperature and pressure. Beer provides our nerves with a variety of stimuli, the wetness of the liquid, the cooler temperature, and a little bit of burn from the alcohol. Interestingly, the carbonation in beer actually triggers pain circuits in our nervous system, just to a lesser degree giving us a bubbly sensation. Touch also gives us the differences in mouthfeel between a cream stout and a light pilsner. Before we get into taste, we need to dispel one common myth. Most everyone has seen a map of the tongue that looks something like this, showing different regions of the tongue associated with different flavors. Well, this map is dead wrong. All flavor receptors are located in all regions of your tongue, but some areas have a higher density of receptors than others. You'd expect that taste would play the biggest role in our experience of beer, but many dispute this assertion. Our sense of taste only responds to five different stimuli, sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. Sweetness in beer is usually due to unfermented or leftover carbohydrates left behind by the yeast. Sweetness is usually subtle, but can be featured prominently in some styles like a milk stout. Saltiness is detected when salt molecules disrupt cell membrane gradients on the tongue, triggering nerve cells. Salt is not a prominent beer flavor element. However, certain food pairings, like hard, salty cheeses, can bring out many other flavor elements in your beer. For most beer styles, sourness is a bad sign, as it indicates the presence of unwanted bacteria. But some increasingly popular Belgian and German styles embrace sourness to produce some light-bodied yet strongly flavored beers. Bitterness has a strong role in beer and can either make subtle appearances or bulldoze your palate with its presence. Hops give beer its bitter bite through acids called isohumulones. Bitterness adds depth of flavor to beer and also tickles the palate in a special way, much like the bitterness of coffee. International Bittering Units, or IBUs, are how brewers measure bitterness in beers. In theory, humans can only detect up to 120 IBUs, but brewers are a competitive group, and many have worked to produce beers that theoretically have up to 1,000 IBUs. Talk about a bitter bomb. Umami is the newest of the basic tastes, and is not really found in beer. It's a brothy, savory flavor associated with noodle soups and monosodium glutamate, or MSG. 
Finally, we have smell. If you detect any other sensations besides the five basic tastes, it's a result of your sense of smell. Try it the next time you crack a beer. Plug your nose while you take a drink. You'll only taste a beer's most basic flavors. Then, as you unplug your nose and take another drink, boom, a depth of flavor emerges. Aroma is another great beer sensation. When you consider that the compounds our nose detects are only millionths or trillionths of the air we breathe, it's amazing how sensitive our noses are. Many aromatic compounds are volatile and just jump off the surface of our beer and into our noses, where we can detect their distinctive and delicious smells. If you like the feel of this episode and think it deserves some positive stimuli, give it a thumbs up below. And if you want to be alerted each time we tap a fresh episode of Beer by the Numbers, hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our Twitter. We post awesome beer facts all the time. Finally, let us know what you think of the series by leaving us a comment somewhere on the internet. Stay curious, beer nerds, and as Homer Simpson once said, Beer, now there's a temporary solution. <laughs>